Did you know that approximately 42,000 adults and 300 children in the United States alone die each year from vaccine-preventable diseases? From two months old to the end of life, mostly everyone gets at least one vaccine in their lifetime to prevent a contagious disease, such as the whooping cough, flu, measles, and the polio virus. These are just a few examples of diseases that once ran rampant throughout the world. As a healthcare worker myself, I've seen firsthand examples of diseases that are preventable via vaccine. Today, I would like to help you all understand why it is so viable that we come together and vaccinate ourselves. Vaccines are needed to help protect the select portion of the population that due to allergies or other medical reasons cannot receive these vaccines. Whenever somebody opts out of these vaccines, they don't realize that they're not only hurting themselves, but also the immunocompromised that cannot receive these vaccines. This is extremely important because it compromises the population's herd immunity. Herd immunity has been a majority of the population has built antibodies, which is the ability to prevent diseases, so that, in theory, the few that cannot receive these vaccines have a lower chance of contracting it. If more and more people decide to opt out of vaccines, then we will see an increase in cases of diseases that were once considered to be extinct by the CDC. But we could help turn this all around if legislation could pass a federal law setting that vaccines are mandatory as long as you're medically able to receive them then it would help those that cannot protect themselves. By passing the federal law, it will become mandated, therefore bringing up the herd immunity in each county, therefore bringing it up in the state and in the nation as a whole. If we could get this legislation passed, then in the far future, when enough herd immunity has been built up, there would no longer be a need for certain vaccines as the disease would become eradicated as declared by the CDC. If we can't get this situation under control, then we will keep and we keep decreasing the amount of persons that are getting vaccinated, we could have a situation like what happened in Japan in 1979 when the rate of immunizations were down to only around 10% in children and more than 13,000 people in Japan alone got the whooping cough and 41 people died. But they suddenly realized that their actions had consequences and raised the rate at which they were vaccinating their children and the rate of people that were getting the whooping cough disease drastically increased. So I say, please not only think about yourselves in this situation, but also the future of the nation as a whole. For the safety of the present, the future, please consider vaccinating yourself and your offspring. It's only you that can make the difference that's needed to protect the health of tomorrow. Thank you.